All right, next I'm gonna be showing y'all how to install the uh, factory seat belts in the factory location on the, on the rear seats here on the 64. It's the same for 63. Um, most 64s, or the majority of them, already have holes for the front seat belts, but none of them had anything for the back seat belts. So, so I'm gonna show you where they were installed whenever these cars were, whenever some of these cars, I should say, were taken back to the dealership and had uh, the rear seat belts installed. So first thing is uh, you gotta take out the back seat, which I already did, got it over there. And uh, I'm gonna get in here and get some good light in there and show you where they were drilled uh, back in the day so I can go ahead and, and uh, get these installed. All right, so whenever you took your car back to the dealership, if you did to install rear seat belts, um, on the factory floor plans, you'll see these little indentions right here. There's a total of six of them. So there's four right here, right in the middle. This is the tunnel. This is the middle of the car. There's two, two right here, two right here. And then on the very end, there's another one right there. Yeah, and you can see the other one right here. That one's kind of, it's kind of full of Raptor right there, but it's right there. That's the factory location that they used back in the sixties. So if you're only gonna run two seat belts, you only have to make four holes. In my case, I'm gonna run uh, three seat belts in the back, so I'm gonna make six holes. So I'm gonna have a seat belt for the middle and then one on each, uh, each side here. So let me go ahead and get these drilled out and then um, I'll show you how to install the seat belts. All right. So we have our holes drilled. As you can see here, I got four here in the center and one on each side easy this is a hardware kit for each seat belt and as you can see it calls for a half inch uh, hole for a 7 16th bolt each kit comes with two really big washers two bolts two nuts and two lock washers so here are the bolts so it's personal preference at this point but I'm gonna put mine from the the underside of the car in so this this will be on the inside with with the big washer on both sides so i'll show you what that looks like once uh once i get one bolted in there it is i got them all bolted in now so the the big washer goes on the back side and then the you put the the bolt through the seat belt the lock washer and then the nut so this is definitely a two-man job so I had my, my little man in here uh, with the impact and I was holding the wrench on the backside. So if you're gonna be doing this, just count on somebody helping you because it'd be kind of hard to do it by yourself. I mean, if you had to, I'm, I'm sure you can, but two people would make it a world easier, so. And I love the quality of the seat belts. Again, I got these from uh, Seat Belts Plus. I'll put the link in the description. You gotta buy one install or hardware kit per seat belt so I have three seat belts in the back so I bought three of these and uh, these guys are a lot cheaper than what you would find them on eBay or Amazon so you just go direct to the place uh, seat belts plus and it's an exact match to the car so you guys who have a uh, bright red on your cars this is a flame red the other red that they have is just called a uh, dark red it's more of a rich red like a Roman red so um, yeah, there it is. I'm pretty excited and pretty happy about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my back seat in and then uh, I'll show you what they look like in here. So that's what they look like on the underside of the body. It has a big washer and a bolt. You can really only see the two on the outside. The, the ones in the center in the middle by the tunnel, they're pretty much covered by that section that holds either the wishbone or the banana bar. So you can't really see them. So I'll probably, just gonna paint these red just to match the underside of the body. Doesn't look bad at all. So let me show you the inside. So I got my seat back in and that's how they look on the inside. Really nice, very traditional, um, really high quality. Again, I got these uh, from Seat Belts Plus. I will put the link in the description for these. Now onto the front seat belts. I bought those from a different company because um, I didn't like how the retractor looked on the ones from this place. So let me get them. 
the front seat belts I got them from uh, the parts place and there is a part number right there and uh, the reason I went with these is because they have a cover on the retractor and it looks really nice so let me get one out here see this is the cover that comes on the retractor itself everything else is completely identical to the original the retractor inside of this cover is also just like the original but it just I just like the cover and let me see if I can get it here kind of hard with one hand there it is so that is the factory retractor it's identical to it so the cover it just it just covers that that's it and as far as I know the parts place is the only place that sells the front seat belts with the retractor cover because uh, so this this car already came with provisions for front seat belts and I already took off my seal plate here so one of the holes is um, right there in the seat belt and it's a 7 16 bolt uh, fine thread so all I got to do for here is just make a hole here in the carpet and then this will just be bolted in right there. Right over there like that. So as you can see, the, the cover, it's made out of like a rubber or a plastic and it won't scratch up or it won't mess with the, the seat trim. It'll protect it really well. So that's one hole right here. The second hole for the seat belt, for the front seat belt is right about right here. So again, I'm gonna have to just cut a hole right in the carpet and then um, just bolt it on. It's real simple. Um, the bench seat is supposed to have a provision here for a seat belt. I don't have the original ones. Whenever I find them, I'll put the insert here. There's one insert here, and then there's another one that goes on the inside. So for the meantime, all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna run the seat belt straight through here to the front, like right under, right under the bench here. It's gonna come out right here. So those, those uh, inserts on the bench seat, I have two original ones that came off of a 64 bench. One of them's in really good shape. This is exactly what it looks like. And the other one I have is just, it's pretty bad. It's broken. These things are plastic and they're from the 60s. So a good set is kind of hard to come by. These go on the back side of the bench. So whenever I get those, I'll, I'll install them correctly. Or whenever I find them, I should say they go in here. There's one that goes here. And then there's one that it, it's not round. It's just flat. It goes right here on the inside. So again, in the meantime, I'm just going to run the seat belt from here right under the seat, which will serve the same purpose. So, so let, me, let me go ahead and get these installed and I'll show you what they look like. All right, so I got the front seat belts finished up. This is what they look like. I think they came out really nice. Um, again, I love the quality of these things and they're a perfect match. So here is the retractor right there. Nice and simple, easy, matches. And the plastic protects the trim, which I really like. All I had to do was add a bolt. I put a chrome bolt and a chrome washer on it just to dress it up a little bit. And on the back side over here, did the same thing. Chrome bolt, chrome washer. And again, I just have it tucked there until I find those uh, pieces for the bench seat. I think they turned out really nice. There's the back ones again. So the install was pretty simple. Um, the front, if it didn't have the holes already for the uh, for the seat belts, all you gotta do is do the same holes like I did in the back. It's a half inch hole, and then you would just have to buy a hardware for each seat belt, which is uh, not a big deal. It's real simple. Um, I think this adds a little bit of a, a luxury to the car. Um, another accessory. I'm a big accessories fan, and the, I guess the biggest reason that I installed these 
is because I'm always grilling my kids to put on their seatbelt whenever we get in our personal vehicles. And um, the few times that we've been riding around, where they've been driving around with me, they are freaking out because they don't have a seatbelt. They're just kind of looking at me and I'm like, what's going on? They're like, oh, I don't have a seatbelt on. I'm like, ah, it's okay. So it was okay for the moment, but uh, they were the biggest reason why I added the seatbelt. So now they can get in and put on the seatbelt and not worry about me hollering at them. So. There it is, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the install. Hope, hope y'all learned something. Uh, if y'all have any questions, just uh, let me know. I'll answer them in the, in the comment section. I'm always looking and following the comment section. If I don't answer your question right away, I will eventually get to it. So there it is. To the next one guys thanks for watching and again i hope y'all learned something any questions just let me know